So guys, this is Mercedes Actros. Um, it's called Chocobet KCG. I don't know exactly the number, but it's uh, 2233 or 3322. It is always written here, but uh, it's not there anymore. And it's four wheel drive. Uh, it has a front diff. And uh, I picked this truck in Mombasa. The first time that it was brought here the first time that it steps to the soil of kenya i i brought it here uh, it was one of the truck that i liked it i drove it really most of the time it was a milk truck in germany um the the company camp um made the the back uh, uh what do you call it the back things here and uh also the up ones it came with a tank inside sorry i have cold <laughs> it has also the biggest tank around it's about 400 liters six, uh, 300 liters and uh yeah it's not really the truck that you can tell that you can say it belongs to the kenyan streets because uh you know it's not meant for for such roads you know the suspension is not that uh, friendly for the roads here but uh yeah it serves a lot of um it helps a lot of people here to transport large amount of uh large amount of goods and also to carry to carry people around because now it's for passengers you can see the seats let me go the other side so that you can see so you remove this ladder here like this one you put it down and then normally there was something that you can hold going up but it's not there so this is where the people are sitting on these uh, wooden boxes you know you come here there's a canvas here that it's always closing um on top here on this these are the seat belts people put mattresses here and they sit on and the it they have a lot of spaces also you can see and also behind here you can they put some mattresses some drums and also the boxes carrying some goods yes so this is Chocobet Mercedes, the truck that I drove really most of the time. Ah, something to hold is here. I remember I was putting it also here some years back, four years ago, and uh, they had a major problem with uh, with a gear synchronizer thing here. I don't know this thing. I think it's the only thing that had a problem, but the rest you can see it is still intact. So you hold this thing here, and then you go down, uh oh, just slowly like this one. Yes, so they are fixing something, steering rod, it's playing around, so I think the hole here is getting bigger. That's why a guy called Jeremiah is fixing it. And uh, so, yeah, that's it guys. Um, the company Kampf in Germany, I said that... Uh, they did major part in uh, removing the tank and putting the this trailer behind. I don't know how do you call it, <laughs> Ladefläche in German. And uh, yes, I hope this track will survive well because I liked it so much. I went with it so different places. I will maybe put some photos here to check some things. So guys, this is I told you yesterday in one of my videos when I was going to Rongai. I I featured some some trucks here. Wait. So I was telling you that yesterday I had featured some trucks here. Uh, this is M9 uh, three axle. This is uh, Sisi Goose, uh, not Sisi Goose. This is Magirus. Let me open. I will open the engine later so that you can see how it looks like. And uh, yeah. 
this is Magirus. I don't know which number it is, but it's about it's really old track. It is one of the tracks which uh, traveled from longer places to serve these organizations. And it's also four wheel drive. <coughs> you see the diff is upside down. This is really the old mechanics. This is a differential. Um, what do you call it? Uh, to connect the proper uh, the, the four wheel the four wheel shaft. And um, yeah, interesting. It's really strong, really strong truck. Um, yeah, it's leaking also this one, MRN. And uh, yeah, this was my box for my truck, Jonah. <laughs> I used to store here. Oh, Kukma, there are some engines here. I think this is the engine of this truck, Noah. You see, it has a lot of fins. It's being cool, air cooled. It doesn't have the radiator. Air cooled engine. So yes, and some parts. And uh, this is called Zakayo. I never drove it much. And you see, they're all passenger passenger cars. This is just the normal Mercedes. Mercedes 1410. I will check. 1410. Yes, it has a problem with the engine. Yes, and this was my truck. Really, I liked it. When I came back to this organization in 24, uh, 2014, I found this truck was not... Uh, um, it was not... So and then I was given the opportunity to make it to run. <laughs> so this is the turbo. I think it had some problems some few days ago. They had fixed it. And uh, this was my truck. I really liked it. I drove it most of the time. This is the power steering reserve. This is the um, freno engine brake. <laughs> so it doesn't leak much actually. And yes, it sounds really nice. I liked it. Let me go here inside. Yes, I was here yesterday from the video of Rongai. And <coughs> yes, this was my truck, guys. I, it reminds me really of my life here. Uh, I was trying to find my name. I had written my name somewhere here. I don't know. This one. Actually, this was me. I wrote this one. <laughs> this was the name of my wife and me. S and Eve. <laughs> Let me make a photo for my wife. I will tell her. I Yes, long, long, long time ago, about four years ago. Yes, so good to see that the truck is still in good condition and it's still running. So... Yeah, guys, that's it. I will take you also through to show you some of my other trucks. I don't, I don't tell. This is the tractor same. I was also driving it here. <laughs> uh, it's four-wheel drive with a fork behind. And uh, yes, the forklift is here. I don't know if it is still running. I was operating also this one here. And guys, this is Amos. Yeah, fortunately, it has been really lying here for long, a long, a longer time. On 2207, this was my truck. This is the truck that I learned how to drive trucks. But unfortunately, it has been lying here for, for a while. It's 9-11. And uh, four wheel, really nice truck. Then also, oh, this is 911, yes, 911. And uh, this is called Biblical Names, lying here for a longer time. It doesn't have the engine, the engine is gone. I don't know where the engine And uh, it's double cab, people could sit from both sides. And uh, Yes, this is called Hiskia. It's Mercedes. So Hiskia four wheel 
one of the best trucks here let me show you the engine six eight piston straight engine with uh, Porsche uh, <laughs> what is that yes special people have to drive this car because it's really special it has a uh, bigger tires and uh, it's a nice truck I never drove this truck so much I drove it for a really short time period of time and uh, yeah so guys this is another uh, 2733 it's called Cetros Cetros uh, it's one of the biggest trucks here also and uh, I could see the tires has been and uh, it's so so beautiful car so yes this is a six axle uh, it drives with both uh, axle the behind one the front one and the top one and uh, yes this is water tank this is boxes this is some um, air jets um, air air filtration air system also air tank reserves and um, yeah it has also add blue inside and i don't see much of these cars in europe it's used here for transportation only it doesn't uh, carry passengers and uh yeah sorry i cannot go here i wanted to show you let me go from the other side to show you how it looks from inside so this is it from top i don't know how the structure of the engine looks like it could be uh, v8 or v6 but it looks like it's a v8 and uh, it's automatic transmission uh wait wait i can't really zoom it nicely uh yes yeah automatic transmission with uh it's really closed i cannot open yeah it's heavy duty truck it be it transports food around and uh, yeah i don't want to say it but guys i have to <laughs> i picked it also from mombasa i will see if i have some videos photos i picked it with another brother another guy also from germany and we brought it here it all it had also a tank behind and uh, yeah it looks really nice car nice truck called Cetros. I don't see much in Germany. It's a German brand, but uh, I think they are being manufactured in another country. So, guys, uh, that's it with my trucks. Those trucks, really, I have a space in my heart to watch them because uh, those are the machines that uh, taught me how to drive. Those are the machines that I knew how to fix things you know <laughs> for about seven years seven to eight years i was handling those uh, beautiful machines and uh, yeah in germany things are different my scania is a bit different but these are left hand drives but uh, i really like them that's why i wanted to share with you people my experience to show you my trucks that i drove and uh yeah while still in africa but uh yeah soon trying to change the environment to go to some other places so thank you for watching and god bless you